What is going on everybody back with another one. Thank you again as always for checking out these videos and yes, this shirt is super tight. But look, I don't want to hold you guys up too, too long. I want to keep it short and sweet, but because I know I'll be rambling on some of these videos and it starts getting into 12, 15 minutes and you guys are just like, all right, shut up. I see it. I see the analytics. I, I see I see where you guys get uninterested and start dipping off and I'm upset with you. But anyway, watch the whole video. But look, a question that is often brought up, whether I'm at the gym, jujitsu, whatever the case may be, on the gram, wherever, is like, okay, I see you doing all this crazy stuff. You're lifting this, you're lifting that. You know, you're going to jujitsu. How's the recovery? What do you do to recover? And the recovery side has been something that's been, I put a lot of attention on recovery. How can I recover? How can I come back to the gym the next day or jujitsu the next day at the optimum level? And that's always been like my thing because my training, the way I like to approach things, it's like, okay, I don't have the luxury of of this and the budget's high so I can have every beautiful supplement in the world and I have the, the chiropractor on standby, I got the physical therapist, the masseur. I didn't have all that, but I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna have to just outwork everybody. I'm just gonna have to be the hardest worker and allow my body to just get obliterated, get my mind just get destroyed, but I'm just gonna have to outwork everyone because for the longest I would just rely on, or I would just feel sorry for myself because I didn't have this, I didn't have that. And that's why I talk about this so much on this channel, like, look, turn the disadvantages into advantages. You know, what we do have, hey, how can we hone it and just make that our weapon? You know, let's not dwell on what we don't have. You know, let's not dwell on, okay, what this person has. All right, because if I was to go down that, listen, that list would look real one-sided of what I don't have in comparison with what I do have with other people. But early, early on, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to outwork. It, like, I don't care, I will just, I will die on this mat, I'm just have to outwork everybody. And that became a superpower of mine. But with going along with that, you know, specific talking about with training, it's like, all right, how can I get back in this gym faster, right? Yes sleep more, whatever, that's not gonna cut it, all right? Sleep, I'm not thinking about that, I'm trying to get it in. There was no budget, you know? Sometimes the food budget was like, okay, $40 a month, that's all I can I can spend for this month, literally, and, make the, and I have to make it stretch. So the food options that I was starting to pick out became very specific, and the fatty acids, and the, you're, you've probably heard it called EFAs, but essential fatty acids, have been become something that I put so much attention to to make sure I get it. Whether I can supplement with it, you can buy omega sixes, omega threes. But in the beginning, and still, we're really just even currently, I was just getting it from food. I think the EFAs is something that's not talked about enough, but has so much power when it comes to recovering and, and, and bringing. Um, your hormones back back up to par, your endocrine system. And those were the key things that if you do train at a high level, at a high volume, a lot of them, it will, and just even age, it starts to decrease. Your end, endocrine system takes a hit. And I was really talking about like your test levels, you know, your, your growth hormone levels, you know, we can keep going, your pancreas, all of those levels start to decrease. And if your test starts to go down, what happens? You can't recover as fast, right? You're sore, you're gonna be sore a little bit longer, right? And same thing with your with your growth hormone levels. You know, when all those things start to, to drop, that's gonna be a telltale sign. It's like, all right, you would need a day to recover. Now it might be like a two days and things like that. But I was realizing with EFAs and just doing research and, and understanding how fatty acids work and understanding why certain countries eat so much fish and fish and fish, I was realizing, okay, if you start putting more EFAs in your diet, things might, you know, things can change. And yes, there's other things that you can do. Of course, everyone talks about, you know, your ice bath and cryo and this and that. But listen, I'm not going to cryo. I don't have the budget for cryo. I'm not going to do it. I'm talking about, okay, what can you do now? What can you change now? What can you alter now in helping your journey in this fitness game or in this jujitsu world? Just fit, just working out, period. What can you do now? And your food is something that you can change when this video is over. You know, so for me, even back in the day when it was like, 
I was broke, no money coming in for the next couple of weeks and I got $40 that I could spend for the whole month on food. That's the budget, you know what I mean? So when people are just like, oh, go go get a massage and go get adjusted, I'm like, I'm like, look, you want me to go and spend 60 bucks to go on some massage spot for some weak ass massage and I don't know if the feds are coming into this place. I, I can't do it, but what I was eating was even unfortunately it was out the can back in the day it was just okay tuna the mackerel sardines i know disgusting salmon but all of those things it, all of those different types of fish they're considered oily fish they had a decent amount i mean it's not the highest quality i know but that's what led me into like okay when i start making my diet and when i start eating a lot of it is going to be high fat and people shun you know, away from like having a high fat diet and you know, think it's bad for you. And it's not the case at all. You wanna have those healthy fats in your system. When you start trying to go low carb, low fat, and just high protein, it's just not enough. You're, you're not getting enough to your system. Yes, your protein is, is high, of course, but the, to transfer it through oxygenated blood, it's gonna start to lack if there's no fat. So once I start incorporating more fats in the diet, now, not only are you able to get your protein source faster to the, to the muscle groups that you're trying to focus on or working on for that day or your whole body for that day, now it helps with your endocrine system. It can keep your test levels high, it can keep your growth hormone levels you know, high, well, high or at least closer to normal than it would be. With your bone, with bones, yes, you have vitamin D in different sources, but you need vitamin K you know, to transfer it. To transfer it. And then a big thing was it, it keeps your blood oxygenated. You know, it helps it keeps oxygenated. And that's, a, that's another one. The more oxygenated the blood, the better your cardio, the better the recovery. And all of these things can be done just by making little alterations to your diet quickly. And where do you get, aside from fish, where can you get more omega-3s and omega-6s? You know, raw nuts, you know, cashews, you know, you peanuts, almonds, you know, any you know, anything of, of the nut family that has a high, well, actually not almonds, take almonds out, but just go with, with cashews. Um, ma even macadamians have, have a good source of, of fatty acids. So, and of course, like I said, the, the oily fish, um, beef, all of these things are high, are high, are high in EFAs. And then you could just supplement with it. You know, you can go to wherever your friendly neighborhood vitamin spot and get omega-6, omega-3s. You know, you can get them both and just take it, just stick with it. And you will start to realize, now mind you, as with anything, it's gonna take a little while for you to, to feel it, but it does work. And it's been science-based, it's sci been scientific, scientifically proven. Like no, you know, just like, hey, I just feel good when I'm on it. No, it's been shown it has a ton, a ton of benefits ton of benefits inflammation inflammation that's another big one you know if you can have if you can reduce inflammation by any means which these fatty acids do once again that can speed up recovery you know how many times they get slammed up beat up you know just on jujitsu alone not only coming from the, not only the fact that i already had a workout maybe in the morning so i'm already depleted I'm already banged up from the first workout. Then you come to jujitsu. Listen, you need to pay attention on what you're doing and what you're eating to come back stronger. You can't just say, eh, whatever, I'll just throw a protein shake and be done with it. It's not if you want to have longevity, you know, because eventually it will catch up. You get an injury and now that's a whole, now you're not even training like you want to. Now you're just trying to get back healthy the recovery aspect, your food intake, that's when it starts coming into play big time. And mind you, I can, I'm gonna go, this is gonna be like one of like five talking about recovery, but I just wanted to focus more so on, okay, what can I do right now? What can I change right now? I'm gonna have a mobility uh, video coming up next probably after this one, but EFAs, essential fatty acids. I don't know why people don't talk about it a little bit more than they should. Why is it not brought up? It's constantly about what you can do externally, but what can you do internally? Like, what can you change? What can you do right now? We all eat, we all have our diet. When we work on, on nutrition, it's not just about, okay, the protein, carbs, and fats. Let's look at the source of that we're getting these protein, protein carbs, and fats. 
And even carbs, I mean, it's hit or miss if you really even need them, depending on the level of athleticism that you're trying to achieve or your sport or, or whatever. You really don't need the carbs. Like if you're eating carbs, it's not because you, you're, you're trying to like get a pump and you're trying to like feed your insulin levels. Listen, you just want the carbs so they taste good, period. So, and it's all good because I, I definitely love to smash my, my cookies and all of that. But anyway, back to it. So I just want you guys to take some time out to, okay, when you are working your diet, you are working your food. And if you're not counting calories, you are counting calories. I mean, it is what it is. But the source, maybe you can make better cho choice, op better options when it comes to, okay, how, I'm, how am I going to consume uh, my protein? Where am I going to get my protein from? Look into eggs and all these things for me, because I still come from when there was no budget. I had to make this money stretch. I still look at it like, okay, what can I buy? What can I use? What can I eat that will have a high source of, of quality calories, but I can make it last, I can, it can stretch. And these are certain things that, you know, it's not gonna hurt the bank, it's not gonna hurt your pockets, but it's gonna go a long way in your training. You know, so, but mind you, we're gonna do this. This is one of a few videos, like I said, I wanna do because I think it's something that needs to be touched on a little bit more. And it's not just about, we go crazy. And I tell you guys go crazy every day, but I want you guys to like now think about, okay, how can we get even crazier? You know what I mean? So it's something to think about, um, to look into it. And mind you can make these adjustments right now. You know, start incorporating more oily fish, have salmon a little bit a few times during the week, you know, or tuna, mackerel, you know, all of these things that you can start now incorporating in different sources of protein. And mind you, you could cook it how you want it. You could bake it, do it down. Listen, you know, this isn't a, a cooking channel, but start looking into it, looking into having more eggs, looking look into, you know, your cashew butters, you know, your raw cashews. And mind you, we're gonna talk about, like I said, doing mobility work, the power of stretching. And we'll, we'll touch on some, you know, how the sauna can help with increasing heat proteins and things like that. So there's definitely more to it. It's not just, okay, you eat your EFAs, you get your EFAs and you're done. But I think if EFAs and just looking into your nutrition a little bit more, it can help you that you, now, you could start now, you could work it now, your next meal or as you're meal prepping or whatever you're doing to get ready for your next uh, food, next time you're gonna eat, you know, you can look into, okay, what can I alter? What can I make different? What can I do different? How can I even prepare it different? You know, your olive oils, you know, look into that. Um, coconut oil. I can go on and on of different sources that have EFAs and you just continue just doing what you normally do. You're getting your meals and you're eating clean, you're eating good, but just now you're going to feel better along with it. All right. So we can get back in there and get crazy in the gym or on the mat. So. More of these videos, definitely for sure. I'll be talking about it. Other videos on the way right behind this one. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.